Hey, good morning everybody. I'm out here poolside, as you can see. Uh, but what I was going to do today is do a mowing video. I haven't done one for a couple years, and I noticed the uh, mowing video does fairly well. So, but here's our mower. As you notice from the last time we done this, it was a different mower. The uh, mower, actually, the deck rusted out. I had to get a new one. This one's possibly two years old, I believe. Got it last year. Okay, the first thing you want to do when you're when you're getting ready to mow, I know it's in a hard spot somewhere. There it is. Is check your oil. Now, don't know why, but my oil thing they have on this mower is way back in there, in a very difficult place to reach. That and it, mm, it really, really gets tight when you start running the mower. But we're gonna get that out of there. Check it, lip right there at the full. She's good and still clean. Good clean oil, huh? Okay, now you want to put that back on there. Boy, they got that thing. And when you got big fat fingers. I don't think they realize, you know, it used to be oil, which is right out in the open. Oh no, they got to put a shield around it now. You know, plastic is such a big deal in building anything anymore. I think it clicked in there that time. But they just overboard on it. You know, they could have, instead of a notch like that, left that all off so you could reach it easier. Uh, no, oh no, 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 that'd be silly. It wouldn't make the mower look, looks of a, look, you know, whatever. Check gas here. Uh, the gas is good for mowing this. I'm going to need more to do the whole entire yard. I usually, uh, usually don't show the whole entire yard mowing. Because that takes me possibly about, oh, an hour. And you don't want to watch it one hour video of me mowing the yard <laughs> unless you're really bored well you're probably bored all you're doing is sitting there on looking at the internet you got anything to do why don't you go get a job okay we're gonna go ahead and top her off i knew that was gonna happen everything's so full i just bought a whole thing of gas and i just made a mess and spilled it i hate when you do that especially in the grass it kills it but we're not going to worry about it. We got the gas in. Okay, now, well, another thing you want to do before you get ready to mow. Uh, number one, safety first. That's why I'm wearing my helmet and uh, videotaping it. Because if you fall down, uh, it's best to have a helmet on your head. Because the mower could run over your head you cut your head off, you know. So wear a helmet when you mow your grass. That's very important. Uh, the next thing, we want to be safety from top to bottom. So I told you the top. Okay, here's the bottom. These are steel shanked, steel toed work boots. Or a safety shoe, safety boot. That way if you stick your, stick your foot underneath the uh, mower in you know, different fashions like this or whatever, you're not going to cut your toe right off. Uh, you could be... You know, here, let's go here. You'd be up here like mowing like this and you want to go backwards and you trip over something. You go down like this and the mower comes right up over your foot and see your foot goes up, boom, boom, boom. You're going to lose a toe. So you want to always wear safety shoes when you're mowing. Okay, that's enough of the pre-start. Oh, okay, now we're going to start the mower. I always start at the edge. The far edge make one trip throwing the grass inward because the reason I do that is see this side of the mower is smooth and this side of the mower you got this here flapping away and uh, a lot of people like to put the flap up that way the grass flies out better but like this morning the grass is wet that would probably be the thing to do so the wet grass doesn't you know just clog everything up but for safety reasons you should leave that down 
know, so in other words, it's probably better if I waited because it's morning right now. The sun's only been out for a couple hours, but the grass is wet. You know, it's better to wait for the grass to be dry then that ain't going to plug up. Unless your grass is super duper high, then it's going to plug up anyway. But anyway, well, like I say, I always throw the grass in because I'm going around in this little area, just uh, one side of the pool. It's all fenced in. I'm just going around this little area. There's something I got to do sometime today, too, is my uh, pool hose broke. So I'm going to take a piece of pipe put in there and hook it back together get it up for now so I don't hit it with a mower and no it didn't break because it was hit by a mower it just sat out all winter which it shouldn't have been it should have been put away but I didn't do it I'm lazy okay now before you start your mower you should have a prime on it my prime is right here you see this red button and it suggests that you push at least seven times. Now, a lot of people think, oh, that's too much. No, do what it says. But uh, anyway, as I was saying, you want to push that like it says. Because, you know, it's a little chilly this morning. I suppose it's like 50-some. But that motor, that and it's cold. Okay, dark, oh, a little bit of smoke there. Okay, now, like I say, you want to hit something there. <laughs> you want to stay at this, to the inside, just throw the grass in the middle. Now, I hit this fence here, keeps the dogs on one side, because the dogs come out here to do their business. So I cut the lawn in half. That way, when you want to swim, you don't have to come out here and walk through a bunch of dog poop to do it, you know? So this is more like the uh, swimming side of the uh, pool area. And the other side is where the dogs go. But I... A lot of times, get done mowing, you can see where I couldn't get because of stuff in the way, like the pump and the filter system and all that. But what I usually do is take Roundup and I spray it on all the, uh, the grass that didn't get cut. That makes the, the lawn look a little neater. I noticed too, when I got this mower, I don't know if you can hear it running or not very well, but since day one that I've had it, to me, it sounds like it's got a, a little hole, possibly in the uh, diaphragm, the carburetor. Because you notice it doesn't, it doesn't sound smooth. It's But it's been like that since day one that I had it. And when you buy a brand new mower, you know, you hate to go in Rent you buy it, go right back in and go, hey, give me a diaphragm for the mower. But then I suppose that made sense to maybe go in and tell them, hey, thing doesn't run smooth at all. So I need a diaphragm. But right, whatever. Okay, see, so there's my one time around blowing the grass inward. Now the rest of the mowing, I'm gonna blow it outward. And like I say, the grass isn't that tall. It just cut last week, but it is wet. So being wet, I wanna 
kind of go just a little slower. That way it has plenty of chance to blow what grass it's cutting out and possibly not clump up like it's doing. And if you, I don't know the video's up yet or not, but I cut that lawn at the uh, clubhouse and I showed it afterwards, but it hadn't been cut all year, that's about the first time. And it just left clumps of grass just everywhere. So I don't know if I'm gonna maybe go up and rake the whole yard or I might just mow it again and see if it'll smooth it out. Because myself, I like leaving the grass on the lawn because one thing about green things such as grass, trees, what have you, they're all cannibals. Yep, they're cannibals. They eat each other. So if you let that grass go on the ground, each time you mow, you're chopping that grass up just a little bit more. And the more and finer that grass gets chopped up, the uh, finer it gets, gets into the ground, decays a little quicker, and uh, ultimately makes food for the grass that's living. So that's why I say anything green like grass, trees, whatever, what have you, they're all cannibals. They'll eat themselves once they uh, break down. <laughs> I can't think of the word. I, think, I can think of the word compost, but that's not the word I want. But uh, they'll eat each other, yeah. That's probably another reason that a lot of people would like especially the girls out there, like to go out and sunbathe. That's one of the reasons that they always put a towel down and lay on a towel. Uh, the towel can be cotton or some other sort of fiber or whatever, but it's not broke down. And the grass, the grass can't eat it. Now, if uh, you'd take and just lay down on the grass, uh, the grass, you know, the human body has dead skin on it all the time. That's just the way we are. We're cruddy. But uh, that uh, grass will actually be eating that dead skin that's on you. Yeah. And uh, if you were to fall asleep laying in the grass for say, oh, oh, I don't know, but let's say two, three years you fell asleep, we would never be able to find you because the grass would eventually eat you completely up. It would, yeah. This, that's why people, when they sunbathe, always, always lie on something that isn't decomposed, like a towel or something like that. Okay, there we go. This side is mowed. Now, next I want to move this side over here. And, uh, my fence, you notice I got a, a cut in it. The dogs can't get that high. So I put a cut in it where I can step right over top of it and come into the dog area, which the grass grows like a weed over here. I wonder why. But anyway, yeah, this was mowed uh, Friday. I think last Friday, yeah, this was mowed. So, yeah, 
it was mowed Friday. This is uh, Tuesday. So you know, look at how fast that grew. But what I do is unlock the gate and then I go through the garage, go around the fence, then come in here. And I'll get this mowed. Once this is mowed, then I go out to the uh, main part of the yard or outside of the fence and uh, mow all that. But, uh, you know, that's what's going to take a while after because the dog thing is about the same size as this. It takes about five, ten minutes to mow. But it says five or ten minutes this video. Look how long it is. That's because I'm a blabbermouth. I can't make a short story short. If you watch Keith's videos on this same channel, Keith's the same way. You could have a a 30 second sentence and me and Keith will stretch it out where it's probably two days long just to say what we want to say. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, well. Okay, that's what I'm going to do now. Right now, I'm just uh, showed that part. Go turn the camera off. Go put it uh, put it up and get it starting to, to record. And once I get it done that way and when it's going up on YouTube, which takes the longest time, that's when I'll go out and finish the mowing, but I at least want to have this video about up, so we'll catch